Hello everybody, welcome to Sermon on the Go. In this second lockdown, I am starting a new series that will help all of us get through it. I want to encourage all my parishioners, both locally and international and online, who are suffering opposition and experiencing various difficulties that is testing their faith during this lockdown. Today's message is taken from the book of James and the theme is trials. James chapter 1 from verses 2 to 4. Let's hear the reading of God's word. My brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of any kind, consider it nothing but joy. Because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance. Let endurance have its full effect, so that you may be matured and complete, lacking nothing. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, let me share with you a testimony. I was appointed as the vicar of St. Lawrence and All Saints on the 19th of February, 2020. Soon after that, about two or three weeks after that, we went into a national lockdown with a global pandemic. <laughs> now, I could have done one or two things. The first is that I could have had a pity party on myself. I could have blamed everybody but myself and complain and mourn about everything. That's one option. The other option is this. Dust myself up and forge ahead and plow on, regardless of the circumstances. <laughs> and you know what? I chose the latter. Now, in that first lockdown, it was, it was a huge problem for me as a young priest who had been appointed to a parish, a successful parish at that. I said to myself, young man, you are going to keep this parish moving on regardless of the circumstances. You are going to do your best to keep this parish going. So I quickly and immediately began to learn video production. <laughs> because I have to jump online. And for most of my parishioners, you will realize or you will notice that some of my first videos are, is horrible. Well, I look at those videos and they look horrible to me because I didn't know what I was doing, but I was doing it anyway. I had to keep my parishioners going in spite of the difficulty, in spite of the challenge, in spite of the circumstances. I had to keep going. So I began to learn video production, how to produce services online, how to deliver successful services online. And guess what? By the grace and mercies of God, I was successful in, in learning that. And the fact that you are continuing to see me online each week is a testimony that what I learned in that first lockdown was a success. So when we face various kinds of trials and temptation, we can choose to do one or two things. We can have a pity party on ourselves. We can blame everybody but us. Or we can choose to say, God, what are you trying to teach me with these circumstances? God, what are you trying to teach me with this situation? God, what are you trying to teach me in this second lockdown? And when we choose the latter, God will begin to reveal himself to us. God will begin to give us wisdom, inspire us to learn some new things about our lives, to learn some new things about our families, to learn some new things about our children, about our spouse, to learn some new things from our workplace and with our friendship. When we open ourselves up, to whatever it is that we are facing with confidence and with a positive attitude, God will begin to give us wisdom, grace, 
ability and skills to be able to go through and get through that particular challenge and situation. So I want to encourage you today. In this second lockdown, many people are facing oppression and various kinds of difficulty. Don't let your heart be troubled. Do not be dismayed. Go on your knees and pray to God. Ask God what he will have you do in this second lockdown. And I can assure you that God will reveal himself to you. God will give you wisdom and inspire you and show you the things that you need to learn during this second lockdown. And all shall be well with you. I want to assure you, my dear friends, that this too will pass. This global pandemic will pass away. It will be a thing of the past, like with every other thing in human society. This too will pass. Whenever you face any trials of any kind, consider it nothing but joy. Because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance. And let endurance have its full effect, so that you may be mature and complete, lacking nothing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I shall see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>